Hello guys, I'm gonna be doing a quick preview or review of this ROM. It's called uh, Asylum JB Beta 01. Basically, it's a jelly bean based on CM10. Uh, I've been testing it with the included kernel, which is uh, overclocked to 1.6 and 400 maximum on the GPU. And I've been fairly impressed with it. Uh, I think it runs pretty smooth. I mean, it's the best experience that I have had on the Note when it comes to CM9 and CM10 you can see that well obviously on the recording it's never gonna look as smooth as, as it looks here but anyway it looks pretty good to me uh, it's co it comes with uh, either Nova or Apex because you have now the Aroma launcher when you're um, installing so you can select different options during the installation different applications or the kernel and all that stuff so uh, I left Nova because I feel it runs really good for this particular ROM and uh, let's do a quick test here. Uh, Quadrant is not going to be spectacular if you compare it to some other videos that I've done. Mainly it seems to be the I.O. which is kind of running a bit low. And uh, in real life applications I believe that is probably the reason sometimes when I'm loading some games like uh, Batman or Spider-Man. I can see the actual polygons coming up before the textures are applied. Uh, that doesn't happen to me when I'm doing it with uh, ICS kernel um, ROMs. So maybe they need to tweak a little bit on the I.O. or something, but in any case, I'm fairly impressed with it. It looks really good. Uh, some of the features that it has are unique. Uh, you can select uh, different modes and things like that. Uh, for example, when you're installing, you can select Fablet tablet mode so the DPI is going to change like right now I'm running to uh, 213 you can select 240 uh, 320 or or even 160 if you want to go in full tablet mode where uh, when you go into tablet mode then the notification bar is actually down here but I think that's a bit too much I mean it it, it makes YouTube different look also when you go into tablet mode uh, I wasn't really happy with it uh, so we got about 7,000 on the CPU, uh, the memory was a bit slow. You see I.O. is basically half or less than others and 2D, 2D and 3D is pretty much um, on par with the other ICS ROMs. So um, Velamo actually plays really good on this one. I mean it, I scored over 2,000 points last time and I'll show you. I probably have the last one here. You see? 2085 which is a lot better than I ever done on ICS because it kind of like fails to run the last tests so that was pretty impressive and uh, I scored about 146,000 points on browser mark which I think is really good um, show some games here and show you how it runs let's start with MAME well MAME you know the story MAME reloaded only runs good with Franco kernel 5 on ICS but I always like to give it a shot maybe I should connect it uh, let me just put it like this this is just a quick test I'm not even gonna play just gonna show you how it looks when it's running You see right now it's showing zero skip frames, which is really good, but here we go with the lag. Every kernel does that, except that one, Franco one. So, I can't really say anything bad about it because it's not like other kernels don't do the same thing. So, let's go to a different game. Let's try Batman. Okay, so let's see how Batman loads and runs. Uh, you might notice, uh, usually happens when I play this, is that the textures will not be applied to the game when it first appears and sometimes it's just Batman standing, like, just floating there. We'll see how it looks now, but I've seen that quite a few times with this ROM. But I haven't seen any hiccups. Uh, usually when I'm fighting, I even went into a fight, like, there's like five guys fighting with me and I was able to fight them all. It was really good. I saw everything like kind of like popping up. But it's 
seems to run pretty much the same as others. Just that small delay. Move a little bit near and see how it looks. So, since we're doing okay. okay. So let's find some guys. when it's fighting the other guys instead of having some hiccups in the fight but I've been doing it a few times and it seems to run really good when I do the fighting but we shall see now that it's recording Hiccups, but nothing terrible. It looks pretty good. Let's go to the next scene. I can pull that sniper down with the grapnel. Okay. Oops, wrong button. This to the next area. Probably a fence. Okay. I'm so let's go ahead and do this and see how it looks in this scene. Which is normally what I stop my other rounds. It's, hmm, it's lagging a lot there. It hasn't been doing that when I play it normally. So I will just think that's uh, an anomaly. This has been playing smoothly before. Lag than usual, but one thing I notice is like since that RAM goes really low on this uh, ROM, and it's probably affecting some of the lag that I'm seeing because I have a lot of programs right now. So, in any case, overall, this is a very nice ROM, and you can see here, uh, maybe here, or here. Uh, this is too much for my hands, but anyway, I'm um, using a different uh, theme. The theme is uh, kind of, they have a dark option where everything is kind of like black or gray. Uh, this is one called Vivid, which you can find on the market, and I like it because of the icons and the way it does some of the colorful things. And 
you can see that it's kind of small looking but it's because I'm using uh, DPI 213 if you use 240 or 320 it's gonna be obviously bigger icons uh, so you can play you got different options you can play with it you can use something like uh, what's an application called here ROM toolbox light somewhere which is the one that you can use I mean among others that you can use to to change the DPI or you can just manually edit it but in any case it's a nice ROM I definitely recommend trying it uh, you might really like it because of the new features that it has uh, you got Google now working really nice on this I know that some guys are doing it on ICS but it definitely works really good with this one so give it a shot I'll put a link on the description and just leave me any comments any questions uh, in order to flash this you can use the same guide that I have if you are on ICS and if you are on uh, Node Core you're supposed to be able to flash directly from there but I'm always uh, so used to flashing Abyss uh, kernel and then flashing the ROMs that I keep doing that but I know people have been doing it directly from Node Core just don't do it from an ICS stock kernel because you will break your phone so be careful read the instructions well that's everything there on the web on the link that I'm gonna put so be careful when you're flashing okay it's easy but don't mess it up have a good one